And it's Western Kabuki time once again, ladies and germs. Uh, we are dipping back into the ignominious uh, scape in which one may find themselves. Uh, it is currently belo- uh, belonging to Elon Musk, uh, everybody's favorite uh, CEO. Uh, Caleb, how are you doing? Tell me about your feelings around Elon Musk and his ownership of Twitter. Oh, uh, I love the guy. I think that he's brilliant, and I wish he was my dad and best friend. That's. I think that's the way you have to feel in order to be on there. Juniper, uh, do you wish he was your dad and best friend? I know your dad kind of is your best friend. Do you want to replace him with Elon? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no. With, with this whole X project, everything's looking bright for the future. Yeah. Uh, so we are, in fact, doing the worst tweets of 2023. You can follow along with us. We will link this slideshow into the description that I am showing for my co-hosts as well as our go- gorgeous guests. Uh, we have uh, John and Stefan in the house. We've got the full block party host situation on deck. John, how are you doing today? Hey, I am doing well. Thank you, guys. And I, uh, I just want to say... Um, I think Elon's bad. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Kind of, <laughs> kind of doing a bad job. So I'm a little bit off. I'm a little bit worried about what these worst <laughs> tweets are going to be uh, if we all think Elon is good. But uh, but yeah, pleasure to be here. Uh, all of these you, tweets John are going to be, be tweets criticizing Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, Stefan, uh, the person whose uh, Twitter account we took most of these tweets from. Stefan Heck, how are you? I'm I'm doing good. I I just finished uh, my Twitch stream where I was dressed as Sonic the Hedgehog for two hours <laughs> playing Sonic 06. Uh, so this is like reading these tweets will be like a huge improvement on trying to play that game. <laughs> I watched you try to beat that lava monster for about half an hour. I finally um, did at the end, but it, yeah. it's it's just not. I I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you need to return 100% the entire game. I think your your Twitch stream would love that. God, I did I did briefly become a Gollum speedrunner, so there is precedent for that sort of thing. <laughs> that was awesome by the way. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> So we um, we're gonna start off here with the honorable mentions. Uh, these tweets tend to take up a lot of our time when we're talking about them. Um, and I actually I did call an audible. Stefan and I um, had a little meeting to discuss uh, what should be put into the bracket versus what should be honorable mention. I threw I took one out of the bracket. Uh, and put it into honorable mention. Uh, but here on the screen here, we have a few. I just want to highlight a couple of them. Uh, my favorite, the strike is immoral. You are denying millions of Americans mental health <laughs> outlet, and this will directly lead to suicides. The EWGA is morally culpable. So that like didn't even make it. That's not even a... Uh, <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, I love that one when, when that one was first made. that That's just like peak Marvel mindset. Like, yeah. you know, this that's is the type of guy that... has gotta be about like, Marvel. It's Marvel, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which uh, you, you don't need writers to make marvel like you can just um, it's watch. the one show that chat gpt could actually make yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem one in thing fact I, one thing i'm noticing here and i don't know if there's a pattern or something this is this comes as a surprise to me but most of the posts here the person posting them has a blue check mark <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's so yeah that's crazy. actually going to be a running theme okay yeah. that's All right. where the best posts come from Stefan. that's because well, they're verified posters that's they're, what i that's, thought yeah. <laughs> yeah that's where the best posts come from and okay. a lot of these are are some of the best posts we've ever seen. All right, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> they're honorable mentions because they're so good. Yeah. yeah. In the <laughs> um, so in the bottom left hand corner here. So we have the guy who said, "What happened when people before in, uh, before insulin was invented?" Uh, which is a great tw- uh, tweet. Uh, what happened before insulin was invented? Uh, people died, Robert. Uh, that's what happened. <laughs> but underneath that, we've got the bottom left hand corner. These are all ideas that uh, Stefan. Uh, brought my attention to these came from a thread Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary posted yes. um, in which he asked for people to pitch him their good ideas oh my god <laughs> um, Dude, this was endless I think we should all go content. around and I think we should all go around and pitch a couple ideas uh, uh, Juniper what, which of these ideas really grabs you here Let's wait which one are we looking at the By the it's on the screen uh, you can pick any either Colin Roman Anthony Tim Relvin or Sephora um shit 
I, I can't read all these quick enough, but there is one I think that was in that thread that will yeah. live rent free in my mind forever. It's the guy that wanted um, Elon to create a hammer with a camera in it. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> that one is really good. Yeah. No. <laughs> what, what is the purpose of the, of the hammer with a camera in it? <laughs> I wish he elaborated I, because I don't fucking know. I think I but, think the idea is that you might be able you can like line up with what you're hitting like perfectly. I, I think that's what the... Cause so it's I, an AI-enabled camera-fitted hammer. I, what I'm picturing, because I don't think the guy actually explained it any further, but if, if I'm giving him like the benefit of the doubt here, I think what he's thinking of is like the camera would be on like the end of the hammer and it would be like you'd be able to have a feed of it on your phone so you could like hold your phone and, <laughs> and then like line it up exactly with the nail to help you hit the nail. I think that's what it was. Okay, see, that makes more sense than, than I was thinking. Like the, the, the having a feed on your your phone, I was thinking it would have to have like a microscope, like 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 you know, like something like attached to it that you're looking into to line. Yeah, things you have to put on the meta line. headset for yeah. this to work, oh. <laughs> and it makes you extremely sick when you do it because you're just watching it from the POV of the hammer. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Caleb, I want you to. I actually want you to. Uh, uh, you're a cat owner. I want you to read Anthony Geomore G- that guy's uh, uh, thing. Oh, I was about, looking for uh, for divorced Costco, but this one's good too. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is. Uh, a vibrating litter scoop. You could sell it as a cheaper alternative to automatic the automatic litter box. Just add a motor that shakes the scoop for you at the press of a button. Make it out of an aluminum alloy, and voila, you have the best tool to deal with cat excrement on the market. Second best next to the plastic thing that everybody else uses. <laughs> yeah. um. So is that the idea there is that you would you'd scoop it's like up a the shake poop weight scoop. And, and it would, it would, yeah, it would, it would like sort of like, it's almost like you're panning for gold, I guess, but it's doing it automatically, right? Where, but that's already what scooping cat shit that's, is like. That's, it is that's it. Give that man $10,000. I would buy that. <laughs> it doesn't need to be motorized though, you know? Like that's, <laughs> well, especially because you'd for sure forget to turn the motor off sometimes. So you'd oh, be yeah. trying to dig the scoop in at first and, it would and be, it's just like going like this. It's like, fuck, okay, in there. turn it off. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's where AI it. comes in. It doesn't turn on, it turns on on its own. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I um, need this guy on Shark Tank. There's a camera in the scoop that uh, <laughs> that shows where the shit is. Yeah. <laughs> John, can you tell me about Roman's idea there in the middle? Oh yeah, this was uh, we talked about this one on Blocked Party, and I yeah. it's uh, it's perfect. Yeah, this is from Roman Roman Simon, and uh, you know, honestly, as five content creators here kind of a lesson for us all i would say uh, <laughs> a, a video show human period unlimited exclamation point about limits fears possibilities growth and progress a person can make i will explore all these concepts myself as a normal person <laughs> and will show to viewers what is possible hey roman uh, no you fucking won't i can tell you that much right now every, whenever you that. say as a normal person you are not a normal person yeah, yeah. yeah. well i just love that because he's talking about like all these unlimited possibilities for other humans he's like but not me though i'm limited i'm, be I'm the limited example yeah. Well, yeah. Also, also, the show is called Human Unlimited, and the first thing he says that the show has is limits. Limits. Yeah. <laughs> That's the blue it's, check twist. Yeah, he wants to be the guy that every time the Olympics are on, someone's like, you know what would be sick is like if regular people were also in the Olympics so we can see how good the athletes are. This guy wants to be the guy that runs aside, alongside Usain Bolt just so we can tell how fast Usain Bolt is. He's volunteering, to be, yeah. he's volunteering to be Truman. He is like, I want yeah. to be put in the pod and yes. I want to show everybody how normal I am. Yes, I love exactly. the idea that people want like, you know, like American Idol, everyone loves the like shitty singers. Like, yeah. I, I love the idea that some people want like the American Idol of the Olympics. Like you just want like the first day to just be all the really shitty people. <laughs> I mean, Pros versus Joes was a legitimately good show, and that's kind of what that is, right? That was back on Spike so. TV back in the day, yeah. and yeah. it was just basically like they put a, a regular guy up, up against show, like Ray Lewis or something. And then, yeah, but it also wasn't Joes. It was like guys who go to the gym every yes. day and retired NFL players. Yes. It was yeah. like, can this 26-year-old beat a 43-year-old NFL player? And sometimes yeah. they still can't, which was cool. <laughs> but 
Yeah, I think it's I I think it should be like the American Idol of the Olympics, where like if one of the normal people won by accident, <laughs> then instead of the anthem, they would play William Hung singing "She Bangs." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any Sanjaya situations would yeah. be yeah. null and void. Um, so we got Tim in the bottom corner here. He suggested an app that automatically creates the perfect calendar schedule for you and makes you get everything done on time. Sign me up. I think it's a really good it's that idea. simple. <laughs> uh, I, I would love you, to be able to. <laughs> can you yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about Relvin's idea? Sorry to sorry to cut you off, but that guy's no, you're great. prima facie stupid. So uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about Relva's idea. Relvin's idea. So, so Relvin's idea, of course, no surprise, blue check. Um, his idea is a reverse Costco Sam's Club for people with small families or single people. A grocery store with smaller. <laughs> sm- it's divorce Costco, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, a grocery store with smaller portions for a fraction of the cost for single people or couples. Food waste can be considerable for perishable items. Solves overconsuming waste and overspending. I love that this guy's just inventing like typical grocery stores. He invented like, 7 Eleven. He invented 7 yeah. Eleven. This guy wants thinks- like bulk buy hungry man dinners, and I love that for him. <laughs> oh, so much. boy. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. He wants the problem is that some hungry mans versus the the, the stoffers versus all the other ones, they, they don't fit right in his freezers. They all need to be the same shape so they can fit in his freezer. Yeah. And frankly, we don't need refrigerators. We need freezers with just different frozen meals that we could put in the microwave <laughs> that's all well, and, he, and he also wants to get steakums to support uh you know the twitter account the twitter account so <laughs> the twitter account knows what capitalism is so it's pretty wild over there it's on the pretty Steakums wild twitter. yeah i also wouldn't a reverse costco be you selling stuff to costco <laughs> I don't how this is a reverse costco a reverse costco is it's a reverse dump. costco where you get stuff that's smaller than regular costco well even even if it is reverse so he's saying it's a grocery store with smaller portions for a fraction of the cost if it, if if it, if it was reverse cost, it would be smaller portions and more expensive, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just love how he just, he just throws in like the, the reduced costs somehow. He doesn't explain. Yeah. You don't need to. Yeah. Yeah, how because a, very a often grocery store. <laughs> very often it's 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 cheaper to buy in bulk. So it's not going to be cheaper to buy the smaller because no. they have to ship it in larger containers or smaller containers and the containers cost more money does he not understand uh, well, I think all, what all these guys have in common is they <laughs> they think they can solve the problem by just saying and the problem's been solved all right and we're gonna solve the problem <laughs> yeah i think yeah, i no, said this on block party but it's very much the episode of ali g where he brings in a skateboard deck and says it's a hoverboard and then they're like well where's the hover part and he's like well you figure that part out <laughs> <laughs> exactly i've already like done that. the inventing yeah, yeah. <laughs> i i think the tim one the 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 calendar that you that makes sure you gets everything done encapsulates I that mindset that. where it's just so like much. yeah it's just you just do it like that's all uh, yeah, Stephen, can you, you round need. us out with uh, Sephora Rothschild's uh, idea? Yeah. Well, there's the there's Collins as well, which is the, there's two sports themes one, uh, ones. Oh here. yeah, yeah. So, Hit the sports ones for us. So Sephora's Stephen. is a sports equipment vending machines for national youth sporting <laughs> events. Which like, okay, I get like maybe there's something to that, pot- like potentially, I guess. But <laughs> specifically, the sports she pitches is fencing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna be for like two people she says in the sport of fencing in particular that's the blue gear check twist gear yeah. is uh three dollar signs which means expensive it's faster to buy new than repair on site makes a difference to parents waiting in line you can have that one no one else is doing it no shit no one else is doing that because no one needs that <laughs> Have you ever been at a fencing event before and thought, geez, my APA is not working correctly? <laughs> I, and I, the repair cost is astronomical. I have some personal experience with national youth sporting events. Um, my aunt, who I have worked for uh, periodically at her food truck, only parks her food truck at um lacrosse tournaments at at teen lacrosse tournaments and so it's all these wealthy white families who come from all over the country to go to like gettysburg pennsylvania and play lacrosse against each other and um the idea that those people would do anything to save money is totally laughable they spend like a hundred dollars on a t-shirt because it has like the right color that they were looking for and they didn't have it in Boston. So I'm going to spend a hundred dollars on it here. My, my, my aunt was charging like 
insane money for just a bowl of rice and uh, chicken. <laughs> so I can't really like. There's no, there's literally no, and, and fencing, you didn't get into fencing to save yourself money. You know, you didn't get into fencing because you're yeah, famously well, thrifty sport. Well, yeah, I, I wanted to get my kid into soccer, uh, but it was so expensive. You have to buy the ball. Um, and then <laughs> they would probably have like backup equipment on site already. Right. Like, or the person would have brought like extra foils or what have you anyway. But the other sports one here is even stupider. And this one might be my favorite. It's from Colin Jordan. Zamboni, <laughs> but for baseball slash softball fields, That's has hose, water <laughs> yeah. reserve, chalk, rake, all attached. Every baseball <laughs> team slash park in the world could use them. So, like, it's going to it's go. So it's going to go around the the base path and like line the base path, and like, like what? It's it's fucking insane. And this rake the, the field. Yeah, and I'll, I'll be honest. Like I don't know too much about these sports, but do, is there that much maintenance that has to go into like like I don't know like for for, for zambonis cost, and, and hockey? That's like kind of necessary for like using your skates, if I understand it correctly. The cost of maintaining a baseball field is much 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 lower than it would be if you had a giant fucking truck driving over the <laughs> <Yes>. field <laughs> periodically. <laughs> <laughs> what uh? What's the water for? I I I I'm on board you with the, 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 like the grass. But that will be watering the grass, I think. And then you've got the rake for like the the base paths, I think. Like you'd be raking the the base paths. I guess the idea is that you could do all of this at the same time instead of <laughs> hiring multiple multiple people to do it. But like, th it's just like again, just another classic like dumb guy idea that all of these are. <laughs> it's it's so it would just I'm ruin the field. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is controversial, but uh, this is, I think, a great idea. Um, I, I think Colin has nailed it here. Uh, this is really gonna, it's really gonna help a lot of baseball field managers. The other thing that's sick, I think, that Colin is not considering here is Zamboni is a guy, right? It's named after the guy who invented oh, that's it, right. Frank yeah. Zamboni. So this would be called the Jordan. Kind of sick. Hell yeah! <laughs> Get the Jordan out. Yeah. John, they need you on Shark Tank. You you see the the potential in in orth unorthodox visions. Well, we've we've done a few episodes on the Canadian version of Shark Tank, which is called Dragon's Den, which Kevin O'Leary was on for a while as well. And yep. if you want to see some insane pitches, you should watch some episodes of Dragon's Den. Oh, unbelievable! It's it's yeah. some really special stuff. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said, and thank you for the compliment that i am sort of a shark-like visionary yeah uh, yeah you see the potential well it was funny because like i've seen every episode of shark tank and dragon's den and like they kind of tried to paint chris saka as that like he was a guest shark for a while and if you don't know he was, he was like an early adopter in uber and a bunch of other things and basically his whole thing is like a rich guy but he wears cowboy shirts yeah, <laughs> and they, so they, and, he, and he's got kind of like a like a little fro. He's like got, got like the white guy fro thing. Love this. So they kind of paint him as like, guy. ooh, he's a renegade. Like, oh, look at all these other fucking losers in suits. He wears a cowboy shirt, and he's an early <laughs> investor in Uber. Uh, but then he's just the same like rich asshole that all the other people are. But it's like very funny that in that community they're like, this guy's a fucking wild man. He wears cowboy shirts. <laughs> All you have to do is not wear a tie, and you'll yeah. like blow these people's minds. Whoa, <laughs> this guy is crazy, man! <laughs> uh, so the other two, we the other two tweets we have on this slide. I have another honorable mention slide, so we're gonna go through them a little <laughs> oh, quickly. No. Oh, yeah. One of them is just a, a racist blue check who's like, "It's white girl summer," and I I woke up and I have blue eyes or whatever. And the other one is Sir Doge of the Coin. Oh, um, I love this. I love this account <laughs> like so much. <laughs> One of the top ten most influential <laughs> accounts, according to those like social tracker things. That is that <laughs> is fucking psychotic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just the <laughs> biggest imbecile on that whole fucking website. Oh man. my god! Uh, <laughs> and his tweet was, "Hey, sexy lady, op, 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 Oppenheimer style." <laughs> And, and then, then well, it's the a thread. The, the follow up. Yeah. It's a thread, and the follow up says, This is probably my best tweet ever. And actually, I would agree <laughs> with that, Sir Coach. Yeah. Uh, not the way that you mean. <laughs> Holy shit. I, it's. Uh, I'm I'm kind of sad that's not on the bracket because I would I would have said this I'll be honest that would have made it pretty far if I had any influence <laughs> in the bracket. 
Uh, so a few of these here require a lot of explanation, and you can take a look at them and find them on your own. Um, I've got one in the middle here, a guy who explained how Breaking Bad can teach you a lot about business. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hell which yeah, is awesome. dude. It's a thread, and he used clips from the show, and he explained all how, like, uh, uh, Walter White was like uh, Alpha or whatever. Um, we've got a guy here who said, new rule, if you use someone having a blue check as a negative, you have nothing to say or contribute. It's such a tribalistic and idiotic reduction that has no attribution. You should... You're just telling everyone you have no argument and you want to act petty. It's transparent. And the the one-two punch of all the times he shat on blue checks in the past for being annoying and being stupid. Uh, which is and awesome because he of has course. one now, but he didn't have one before. Uh, yeah, those were, of course, pre, pre-modern pre Twitter uh, yes. when you couldn't just buy Can the blue check. Can we drop the yeah. ad on this guy? Because I, I've been following this guy for a well, while. I was before I deactivated. Uh, he's definitely worth a follow. He's full of he's funny. insipid shit like this. At Rob underscore motto, M O T T O. Movie mad motto. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, he, we have a guy who complained about his Uber driver who couldn't afford to get to his house because they didn't have <laughs> gas. And this guy just raked him over the coals and screenshotted his whole thing. And many people were n- actually not on that guy's side. It actually turned out a lot of people weren't on the abusing yeah, no, a service worker. Th- guy's that side. one was crazy because he was like, he was like basically elude, like the way that he was talking about this Uber driver or whatever, this, this DoorDash was like, yeah, this dude's probably going to kill me. And it's like, he just has like your McDonald's, dude. Like, he just wants to deliver your food. And then why there, do you, why yeah, there, at one point, you? he's like, don't bring me that food. I don't want that fucking food. And then the guy's <laughs> like, I have the food. I'm not going to eat it. Uber says I have to deliver it. I left it on your front porch. <laughs> and he's like, he left it outside like it was trash. Delicious. <laughs> and it's like, oh, geez. If you're geez thinking Louise, of dude. posting a screen grab of a, of an interaction with like a gig, econ- a gig economy worker, like an, an Uber driver, or like a DoorDash driver, like it's just, it's never going to go well for you. Like you're, yeah, you're no, always the it. asshole in that situation. <laughs> No. It goes yeah. well for me all the time. I post when I'm like, hey, thank you so, so much for delivering my food. Here's a 200% tip. <laughs> uh, everybody, by the way, I love Uber and the gig economy, and I love all these people, and they're so, so, so cool. And then everybody likes it, and they're like, John, you're so nice. Yeah. And I'm like, thank you. I am so nice. And by the way, my food was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the Uber counts retweeting you. All yes. the brands are in your replies. <laughs> Wendy's riffing with you. I would give more than five stars if i could uh he was so yeah. cool wow like, thank so you for cool. the reddit gold gentle sir <laughs> <laughs> uh we've got a crazy catholic geek guy his whole shit well i i didn't i didn't want to put guy it rocks um, by the way i didn't want to put it on the i didn't want to put it on because his whole shit is good it's like it was the same issue we had with uh, we've had this in the past, like the Mediclit lady and and uh, 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 Bethany Mandel. Like we don't know what to do with some of these people where they have so many <laughs> insane opinions. Uh, but this guy said, since there's a Catholic dude tweeting hot takes about how his wife's health justifies their contraceptive use, uh, let me just say, no, never uh, under any circumstances, Mrs. Geekdom. He's called Thy Geekdom. Come, oh, he's a Catholic God. geek. Incredible, God. <laughs> And he said, Incredible. Mrs. Geekdom, who has health issues there, uh, and I will refuse it every time because it's wrong. He's making the decision on his wife's behalf. It's a really long thread. I only put three yeah. tweets on here. It goes even longer than this. Um, but the the one that got quote tweeted a lot was, Mrs. Ge- Geekdom and I have seven kids. All <laughs> her pregnancies are high risk. Jesus Christ. They're terrible. Jeez. Hypermesis. Oh. One near stillbirth. A placental... A placental abruption oh. and apparent miscarriage but ol of lords worked a miracle a stillbirth six cesareans uh geriatric maternal age that's the jesus whole tweet. christ <laughs> first of all putting oy, your oy, wife's oy. medical history out there surely he did not run that by her first yeah, clearly <laughs> that is that's <laughs> insane Miss, mrs geekdom was not was not uh writing that tweet with him that's no. so funny because he's like scared to use birth control but he would probably get his wife an exorcism like no questions asked <laughs> <laughs> just consider it a medical exorcism <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god. It was Fuck. also weird. It's also weird because the second tweet in the thread is like, I don't say this to brag about my moral uprightness, and I was not thinking that at all. It was getting to me as bragging about I fucking hit my wife raw all the time. I'm fucking getting in there. No Jimmy. And I don't care if she dies. Yeah. If she gets pregnant, so be it. I don't, that's the eyes of the Lord, baby. I'm hitting it raw. <laughs> uh, so we I, we picked the original here of the uh, rest of the Mona Lisa guy. That became a genre of post that was just like, oh my god, there. it's yeah, that was going, a fun day. It's still quite stupid. Uh, the <laughs> rest of generated by AI shit for like Indiana Jones and Mona Lisa. We've yeah, got it's just Peterson. like if you haven't seen those, it's just like zoomed yeah. out. Like so, it's just like the Mona Lisa, but just like zoomed out. So there, it's just like more background. And it's, and you don't see like the lower. You don't see her legs or anything. Like she's no, just no, no. floating she's in, in a hell. void. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out Mona Lisa was in hell. It turns out. Uh, Jordan Peterson saying, "Call me sis to my face and see what happens." Hilarious. Yeah, okay. Uh, Number one seed in my opinion for this whole bracket is Jordan Peterson. Is, is Jordan Peterson. There yeah. are some Jordan Petersons on here. Don't you yeah. worry. The New York the Yankees Peterson. of imbeciles. That's yeah. the most that's the most posted well crying post of all time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a shame that this dude is like just genuinely so good at posting insane tweets. Like it's a talent. If yeah. it was a bit, he would be better than Drill. It's he's insane. He had that one the other day with like the the bird. Yo, where, like, I, oh I just don't. E God. I mean, the social justice bird. Social yeah. justice bird. I love that shit. Yeah. So he's posted yeah. about it two or three times now, and I hope he keeps that up because yeah. I so so I was just like baffled by that one. But uh, uh, Hell Dude, I don't know if you guys know Hell Dude, but yep. he, he posted a quote tweet kind of explaining what he thought it meant. And I was like, oh my God, it's definitely what he meant by this. Because it was a blue bird, which you know the the stereotype of, oh, blue haired social justice warriors. Okay. And oh, the, no. the bird, the bird had like an open mouth, like it was screaming. So it's like, you know, that one, that one gift oh. that uh, right wingers love where oh it's like God. the screaming, like soy, soy lib. Right. So it's like a, it's, I think it's just like the same like stereotype Stereotype. It's like the same joke. It's his, blue-haired feminist soy crying. But it's a bird. His shit. brain is but so it's a bird. fucked up. Yeah. His brain is so <laughs> fucked up. And and like when he said that, it clicked. I'm like, that's definitely what he meant. That's absolutely what that means. I can't wait until he's posting from a Russian sanitarium this time next year. <laughs> 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 and the last guy we have here for honorable mention is uh, at oh. Pepe or at Deluxe underscore Pepe. Oh, Pepe oh I love this guy. <laughs> What y'all eating for lunch? The hen and egg in Newton, North Carolina. Chipped beef and gravy. But the picture is not of food. It's a picture of a middle-aged man wearing a hat that says Pepe Let's be Deluxe. clear. This guy is past middle age. <laughs> he's wearing he's like the Gen X glasses. No offense, Alex. Um, he's wearing the Rivers Cuomo glasses. And Fuck uh, you, man. he has a T. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm wearing the same glasses as well. Like, uh, okay. Uh, and he's wearing a T-shirt with a Pepe on it that says "Friend Pride." Oh. Uh, really grim stuff. It's just uh, good to know that anytime you see, and I, I, I try to. I think I've muted the term "friend," uh, and I, and I, I auto block all blue checks anyway, so I, I don't see it as much anymore. Um, but anytime you see someone using the word friend or friends, um, they're like this guy. They're like, yes, they're, they're like this. It's not like, yes. it's yeah. not like a cool guy. Not that a lonely guy in his forties. Yes. I mean, yeah, this guy's clearly that f by himself at the restaurant, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he it has a hat that, with his that. fucking Twitter handle on it. Like, yes, he's alone at that restaurant. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, the, the, this type of guy, do, do you guys remember that, like, friend lawyer where he would, like, post oh, with, like, that lingo? And he was, like, an actual lawyer, people found out, that this dude's just online posting, like, I was he hello with, like, one L when friends. I learned he was a real lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude has <laughs> gone to fucking court. <laughs> As a lawyer. Just bleep. No, he, I wouldn't just be surprised so if he'd gone to court. Yeah. I'd be surprised <laughs> on what side he was on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, now, yeah, your honor, right. my friend here has been <laughs> accused of... <laughs> your honor... <laughs> your honor, cringe. Objection, cringe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so uh, Caleb, did you clear the rights with John Tesh's people? Are we able to play the NBA theme here, or uh, uh, should we just get into the I tournament? did reach out to the fine people that represent John Tesh's musical library, and they wanted uh, an, an amount of money that I will not disclose. To, <laughs> to you. I, wanted, I wanted to purchase the rights for one episode for Round Ball Rock. Uh, didn't was not going to happen. Somebody want to somebody want to sing it real quick. <laughs> Here it is. John Tesh is going to sue us even for that. <laughs> oh no! All right, so we oh, have no. Oh, yes, I love it. Yes. And we're starting out with a couple of fucking oh, heaters. Fuck. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How is this one so long? Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, 20,000 character uh, limit. He, he purchased the blue check. Uh, we'll go to the long one first on the right hand side. You guys see this is from Twitter account at CatTurd2. The uh, most fascinating guy out there, in my luck, opinion. He rocks. Lucky for us, Philip Lamar Buchanan has actually titled this post for us. This is Why Me by Cat Turd. Uh, it begins I am exhausted mentally and physically. This cat turd has been five has been a five year roller coaster ride. Basically, work seven days a week, no days off, no vacations. Don't even know how I got here. I okay, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, this is a twenty thousand character tweet oh. in which cat turd <laughs> has written an essay to talk about like how did I get here and where do I go from here. He uses phrases such as in a way cat turd saved me. Um, <laughs> at the age of 54, God. I decided to join social media for the first time because I suddenly got uh, arthritis in my fingers where I lost the ability to play guitar. Rest in power to the groovy grapes. Um, oh, my God. I love this idea that Cat Turd would be making albums and would not be posting he, if he they was, didn't get arthritis. He, he was in a, a band, I think, right? Wasn't there an article? Yeah, the was Groovy the, Grapes. The Groovy Grapes. Yeah, that's the right. Groovy, yeah, who, who got their hands on that oh, CD wow. someone oh, <laughs> you got got it. <laughs> oh my fucking god you have it hell yeah i think Holy i have yeah the shit. cds in there and everything <laughs> oh, oh wow my god. <laughs> well, so so you good. need to share the this with us grapes. so somebody uh, shared just so it. the listeners know whack just held up a, an original <laughs> copy of a groovy grapes uh cat turd cd i did not know yeah you yeah, had yeah. That, man. yeah 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 so um the guy who sent it to me, uh, he he had posted it. I mean, I I, I was going to pretend like it's like a mysterious place and I had talked to him about doing this. But it's also like one guy posted it online because QAnon Anonymous had talked about it. After like the day QAnon Anonymous, their uh, episode comes out, a guy is like, oh, I have their CD. I DM'd that guy <laughs> and I was like, how did you get that CD? And he was like... Um, oh, I'm like a reseller. I just sell media online. Uh, so I have like a lot of random shit from a lot of random bands from all over the country. And I heard that name and I went to look for it and I had it. And I was like, damn, that's crazy, bro. And he's like, do you want it? I will send it to you for free. You wow. didn't pay like, a set that is a home. homie. Wow. Have you <laughs> listened to it? Shout out to that. I guy. have listened to it. It's 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 fine. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> he uploaded it, though. You can find it online. The whole thing's online. I gotcha. it, and uh, he um, he sent me the CD, and I was like, "Dude, this is fucking crazy! I can't believe you sent this." I opened it, and it was empty. He and I was like, "I bet he left it in his disc drive or whatever, and just forgot it was there." I'm not even gonna bother him. Like a month ago, he reached out again and was like, "Hey, um, I think I left the CD in the disc drive," and I was like, "Yeah, you did." And he's like, <laughs> "I'm gonna send it to your house again. I'm gonna mail." more stuff to your house and i was like please go ahead man <laughs> by all means <laughs> this is not an invitation for people to mail things to my house this is a special situation um so we've got cat turds lament here uh his long essay about so how let's contextualize this this is the post that he made when he found out he wasn't getting paid to be online right I yeah yeah when the krasensteins got fifty thousand dollars yeah did total and, <laughs> honestly and i related to this so much i that i found out that uh I got laid off, and then the, I opened Twitter, and the first post I saw was that the Krasnstein, oh, him holding the fake check that he wrote for himself, doing the soy face for fifty grand. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm done. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I loved someone. Uh, I forget who did this, but like, just quote tweeted it and summarized this whole twenty thousand character tweet 
just saying like he's talking about posting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this, like the, the, this he's is just a love letter about to posting. Writing tweets. Yeah, yeah. The but it's also like a... Michael Flynn replied to it as well and was like, "We <laughs> yeah, love you, we support you, we love you and support you, Catcher." <laughs> a five star general. Yeah, you know Michael Flynn. Catters. Michael Flynn didn't get that payout either. You know they overlooked yeah. Michael Flynn for that one. And um, yeah, I like. It's not just a celebration of posting. It's also like the sort of sad, like lamentation of like, it's really wild the way why life's windy path can lead you here, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just love this dude. I love Cat Turd. He's, he's got like him and Jordan Peterson. I don't know if I've ever been mad at anything they've said. I just, I just want to dissect their brains. Yeah, I just need sense. to know more. They're that very interesting yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. And this one is going up against an absolute heater, uh, an absolute titan of the field. Uh, this one, and I'm going to read it entirely. Uh, it has an AI picture, uh, AI generated picture of some type of animal, a child and a man holding his hand in the mountains. And it says, homosexuality can be cured if you catch it early enough. If your son tells you, dad, I'm gay, take him into the wilderness with you. Bring no food and one knife. Now both of you have to survive for a month. You're telling me he comes back home gay? I bet he doesn't. <laughs> so I actually did some digging on this guy. Th this guy is a 22-year-old digital marketer. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I just I I feel I feel a little uh strange that this tweet is in here because um that is how I'm straight. So uh, <laughs> it was a wild month uh, in the Holland River Marsh behind my house uh, in Holland Landing, Ontario, when I was a kid. But uh, damn, if that doesn't work, you know what Mul I mean? <laughs> Multiple people pointed this out uh, on, on Twitter as well at the time. But this is the plot of the Simpsons episode where Homer thinks Bart is gay. Yeah. <laughs> it gets him the knife. Exactly. So <laughs> I, mean, I also love the idea that like gay people aren't super masculine like this dude hasn't met like a certain type of gay dude that is like the most hyper masculine type of guy <laughs> yeah, like yeah, totally. he thinks it's just like like the people that do like have the like the stereotypical gay voice like that's the, what this dude thinks all gay men yeah, are. yeah like yeah. the steel workers in the simpsons bart is gay episode like hot yeah. stuff coming through or <laughs> yeah. whatever yeah um i just need this to be known i did find this guy's instagram and in his tagged photos if you scroll down far enough back to when he was in high school he was on the Spirit Squad, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going through some repressors yeah. type shit right now. He's He's on his yeah. Steven Crowder shit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That dude's definitely Th trans. This is like two. <laughs> this is like two one seeds going up against each other. Honestly. This really this is, is like class. So of the I, 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 uh, I randomized the seeds. I see. Uh, okay. Which uh, I want to get out in front of. These are randomized. Okay. Uh, I didn't pick. I didn't pick one. So what do we think? Gay son in the woods or cat turds lament? I think it's time for the moment of truth. Oh. I will vote first. I'll go first. I've been reading. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing the screen. I've got to go gay son in the woods. Um, <laughs> and I will explain my reasoning. Gay son in the woods came out of nowhere. It's not cat turd. You know, it's a guy who really, this is a ham and egger. This is a, this is a lunch pail <laughs> type of player. This is a smells like teen spirit of this kind of post. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I, I I have a lot of respect for Gay Son in the Woods. The AI art attached to it, totally unnecessary, <laughs> yeah. but really <laughs> heightens it in a way. I know what the woods are, and I know what you meant by surviving in the woods. You didn't need this fake picture you put in there. <laughs> um, and I'm also saying that, like, I'm not sure what he thinks gay is. I'm not sure he even really <laughs> knows what it means to be gay because there's just no fucking dudes has nothing to do with survival skills one does not correlate even a little bit to the other turning and you straight by keeping you away from women that's what that's what you gotta <laughs> yeah. do yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i gotta go i gotta go gay son in the woods that's one for gay son in the woods oh boy this is tough Who, who's up next it's tough i'll I'll go next. I, as much as I love the the homie cat turd, I think I think your reasoning, and I I just love the the gay son in the woods. I think I got to go with that one. But shout out to cat turd. He's a homie. I uh, I'm also gonna go gay son in the woods. That by the way is also my favorite Justin Timberlake album. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here's my reasoning. Actually, quite a bit different uh, than than yours, uh, a whack and juniper, but. Um, 
I am actually, and I'm I'm going to put my my podcast host partner on blast here, um, <laughs> but I am actually pretty disappointed that Stefan did not become verified for a month, copy and paste the exact cat turd essay, <laughs> and claim it as his own as a tweet. Uh, complete missed opportunity to do another uh, Baby Yoda drinking White Claw tattoo. Uh, somewhat disgusted uh, with Stefan's complete inability to see that bit, and therefore I do have to go with Gay Son in the Woods. John, I don't. I just don't have eight dollars to spend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wearing that Sonic suit didn't get yeah. you eight dollars. That that took a lot. That's, that's where that eight dollars went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a vote Cat Turd's way. Um, I. I Gay Son in the Woods, I think, I guess, has already won uh, yes, at this point. Yes. Um, but I, I am going to vote. I was going to vote Catcher either way. It's really close. For me, the visual of just seeing the insanely long post and the title of it being Why Me. And then, like you guys said, it's just about <laughs> posting. It's just like, it's it's the perfect like blue check post, this this Cat Turd manifesto. Um, Gay Son in the Woods, uh, you know, obviously great. Obviously won for a reason, but I, I am voting Cat Turd here. Bert. Yeah, uh, I guess my vote doesn't count, but I'm also going to throw it Cat Turd's way just because um, I know that feeling, man. I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so conflicted because I, I really, I don't know, in my in my gut, I wanted to go for Cat Turd, but in my in my brain, I, I knew the sun in the woods. Well, that, Kat, that had to be the choice. Respect to Gay Sun in the woods. Yeah. We're yeah. going to say, we're, yeah, we're going to say Cat Turd move or Gay Sun moves on with respect yeah. to Cat Turd. I think, yeah. I think, uh, okay. Honorable, yeah. an Total honorable, respect. honorific put on That was Kat like a, Turd's that was name. a buzzer beater right there, I think. That was a very yeah. close game. Very bad. But he's, you know, at the end of the day, he is, he is the, um, he is the, the, he is the fuck. I don't know basketball. The Steph Curry team is what I kept wanting to say. <laughs> the, the Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, the like Warriors. He is the yeah. Warriors. He'll be back. Yes. You know, he's not. You know, this isn't the last we've seen of him. We salute you, Cat Turd. <laughs> oh. Okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. so oh, Every time they get oh, no. revealed, everybody's very upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, cool. so we've got a thread. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! And the thread <laughs> itself is up for the. It's not an individual post. It's the entire thread that this really. This is a works. dream team, dog. Yeah, it's the whole thing. So it's and the this, ninety-five this bulls. Is, yeah, this is uh, this is very, very uh, uh, revealing about just Elon's Twitter. Uh, since its uh, inception. Uh, Lex Friedman, podcaster uh, who posts nine-hour interviews with Nazis, uh, said, <laughs> nice. It would be great to be able to upload three-plus-hour podcast videos with timestamps slash chapters. P.S. Theo is awesome. Don't really care about Theo. Um, Elon replies, coming. <laughs> Ian Miles Chong replies... Ooh. <sighs> That's what she said. God. God. Uh, shut these, the fuck up. All, <laughs> they're all children. So it's the one, two, three punch. It's it's <laughs> Lex Friedman saying we need three hour videos on Twitter. Elon saying it's coming. It's not. He cannot host three hour videos <laughs> on this website. <laughs> and then Ian Miles Chong making a that's what she said joke. The Avengers uh, of sexual harassment complaints. <laughs> <laughs> now, we don't know that about Lex. Um, so the, <laughs> <laughs> the other one is uh, from some Patriot Eagle account. It's cut off because I'm sharing my screen. Um, before, before you read this, I just have to say I love that like so many of the like most deranged tweets in like 2023 and late 2022 there's always just like a weird image attached to what they're saying yeah like that's just oh, like yeah, the trend. because it like they, looks like an article but it's not an article it's just an image <laughs> they got from discovery news that they put into it to make it seem like yeah it's science which yeah these these people these people love their line breaks they all do them now and they always attach just an insane image that's just like the format for these type line, of line break posts. twitter used to be like uh cop starts break dancing you know and now and now it's <laughs> like uh now it's like race science <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the Titan's vision at Titan's vision. If the woman really loves the man, as soon as her genitals reach the man's, she silently sucks up his <laughs> organ within herself. The man has no need to make any effort. If the woman's love is strong, her body sucks up his organ <laughs> as air is sucked up into an empty space. 
Uh, this one does have a community note that va uh, vaginas are not <laughs> capable of suction and that the myth <laughs> of the vacuum vaginas actually goes back centuries. Do you guys remember what the original community uh, note was? No. <laughs> no, uh, no. The, the original, original community, community note? note was just... I'm crying at this one. <laughs> what the <Jesus>. fuck? <laughs> the whole note. <laughs> and I rated that one as helpful. That was helpful. <laughs> so I've seen that community note like separate from this tweet. I didn't yeah. know that's where this, this one was from. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh so yeah, we've got another we've got another couple of heaters here. The Lex Elon Ian uh one, two, three punch or Titan's vision with the vaginal suction. What do we think, friends? Well, first, I just want to ask, wh wh where did the Titan's Vision learn this? Is he a doctor? Is this what's taught in like medical school? I, where did he? I learn can tell this, you where he didn't uh, learn suction? this, Juniper. Yeah, uh, <laughs> having sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this dude's like in his forties. This might be like I, I'm picturing the Pepe Deluxe guy, like same guy, big beard. He, he's got yeah, same dude. He's got the Friends shirt. He might even have a Friends br blanket. <laughs> I'm also just like picturing the type of the type of guy that like hopes this is real. Like what who's the guy that's like, <laughs> man, if I could o if I could have sex but only like with no thrusting, oh my <laughs> god, that would be unbelievable. Like who's that who's that guy? You know what I mean? Suction only penetration. Oh, yeah. don't. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No, oh, dude. Oh, no. What no, is no, this? no, do not oh, click no. on it. Do not oh, click on this. <laughs> Whack has pulled up Google image search. Don't do it. <laughs> Blurring is on for a reason, Whack. Don't do it. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> do uh, it. Just one. Let's just see one. Let's just no. see one. Ah. Oh. No. Okay. It's not even what we were looking for. It's not even. It's not okay, even. let's get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> But All also, right. I also just want to say before we vote, the 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 left tweet, the the thread with Lex and Ian, yeah. I'm blocked by both of those guys. <laughs> um, I don't remember why for either of them. I know Lex blocked me because I kept making fun of him. I kept quote tweeting him, and he eventually just blocked me because his whole thing's like positivity or whatever. But um, I still don't know why Ian blocked me like four years ago. God. So I, I don't know if I can support them in this one. <laughs> this is another <laughs> tough matchup. I mean, randomizing it, I think, was definitely the way to go. Um, yeah. It makes things a bit more interesting, for sure. I, I think I'm voting for the thread on the left here between Lex, Elon, and, and uh, Ian Miles <laughs> Chung because this, to me, this is just like what Twitter is now, right? Like, if, you, if someone asked me, oh, what's, what is Twitter like now? I haven't, I haven't been on there for like two or three years. What's it like now? I would show them this screenshot. Um, yep. <laughs> and it would just explain everything. Um, this is just like no, it, just, it really does have it all. Oh, just three horrible posters. Uh, Elon doing the the one word reply thing he loves to do. <laughs> Ian Miles Chung doing the that like they they I mean I, I can't I, I it legitimately it's makes me angry. It's so it's bad. No, just, here's here's the format. Oh. We see it every day now. It's the guy that throws out a really horrible suggestion to Elon. Yeah. It's the Elon explanation point reply, yeah. and then it's the dude that sounds like he uh, like. His reply to Elon trying to riff with him was written by, by AI. Yes. Like that's that's the entire format. That's exactly it. So this this yeah. the thread gets my. I mean the the suction one is obviously super insane, um, but I have to go with the the thread on the left there. That gets my vote. Cool, uh, Caleb. What about you? I'm going with the uh, suction vagina post because, in a way, Stephanie, you're correct. This is what Twitter is, but. I think that what the Titans vision vagina section guy represents is the future of Twitter. And this is true <laughs> outsider art. And I, yeah, I just don't think that you could ignore this. So I'm going with vagina section guy. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, I, I sadly also have to go with the, the vagina suction guy. It's, I don't know, this is, out of these two, like, the one on the left, it just disgusts me, but the, the one on the right, I was, I genuinely had tears running down my face. <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's the worst tweet, and I'm making it sound like it's a, it's not a good tweet. That's, I don't know, that's why it's so funny that's to what me. It, just, I mean, the, the thing is the worst tweets. The winner is the okay, worst one. It's, it's worse True. in a more and, interesting and way, I think, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it represents the other type of guy that exists. Like, there's the, guy, yeah. the guys on the left that do their the whole stupid like first grade riff thing but then there's the guys on the right that just engagement bait by making like i don't even know where they come up with this stuff where do they come up with this it's it's mind-boggling 
Uh, uh, well, I will yeah, John. look. I'll, I'll make it two two. I, I'm I'm gonna pick the one on the left. So so whack. You can have the uh, the deciding vote. Um, and it's really just one simple reason. The tweet on the right uh, made me too horny. Um, <laughs> so sometimes, like when I'm scrolling Twitter, I don't want I don't want to have to deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, so you know the one on the left, just just your classic uh, three ghouls hanging out. <laughs> nothing nothing better than a than a than a Trey Ghoul party. Uh, that's a little Green Day. That's a little Green Day pun that isn't, isn't really relevant. So shout out uh, to all the Gen X listeners out there. Uh, <laughs> vacuum vagina is gonna take it here. It's too weird to ignore. It's too strange. Um uh, Okay, and this uh so I replaced ten dozen eggs, Stefan. Yeah. Um we had ten dozen eggs on here. Oh, that's going to be in I, I made two separate slideshows so I didn't share one with my real email. Um, and uh, the the 10 dozen eggs is on your other one. This is a guy who said my groceries were $60. He posted a picture, and one of the things in the <laughs> picture was 10 dozen uh, chicken eggs. Yeah. So, <laughs> two cases of five dozen chicken eggs, and he couldn't figure out I, all his groceries were so expensive. I loved the, like, the riffs on, on the, that ty like, type of post where it's like, th like a guy that has like king crab and like... Like like the most expensive alcohol, and it's like, why are my groceries eighty dollars? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's happening to America? Inflation is out of control. Yeah, it's 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 even worse than the drill tweet thing of like I can't figure out my budget <laughs> because it's like everyone who's looking at that image can like just look at what you bought and guess how much it cost, and you're complaining <laughs> at the guess that uh, most people would make. I still want to know what he's he was going to do with all those eggs. That was a lot of eggs. So I replaced it with another food one. And this is a late <laughs> entry. This is from yesterday. Um, somebody said, uh, or day before, whatever. Uh, I'm fairly certain 3D printed <laughs> quote unquote chicken is already on Walmart's shelves. Real chicken doesn't have a gill-like <laughs> texture. And it is he, he has butterfly to chicken breast. And he is looking at the fibers of the chicken and saying that it is 3D printed meat <laughs> that is being passed off as quote unquote real meat at Walmart. <laughs> I need to know what, when everyone got like this. Like, were, were humans always like this? Did, it did comes and it clearly these? comes and goes because I feel like when I was in school, we did a lot of like really like racist and homophobic and bad stuff. But also, we laughed at the satanic panic of the 90s. And now they're like, hey, do you remember in the 90s where they found all those. Uh, witches why did we let those witches go yeah. is, is like the new <laughs> attitude um yeah and the, uh, yeah, so, this is like this, this is like the 666 monster lady like this is like that tier yeah yeah, yeah yeah uh bottoms up and the devil's laughs is that who you're talking yeah. about yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> um yeah and this is going against a, a quote tweet uh nina turner should be said that uh insulin should be free and that medicine should be free uh the new hampshire libertarian party had an interesting take replying to nina turner a uh, black woman uh they said nina turner picking crops should be free oh my oh. god jesus christ <laughs> just incredibly ghoulish pro genuinely one of the worst things i've seen like and that that that's like including things elon and like matt walsh has i said. don't like, this think is just elon like would incredible. say something this blatantly racist on twitter no, no he would reply no. to it i think yeah, but he wouldn't say it himself. <laughs> or he'd like a comment yeah. in the replies riffing on it. He'd like yeah. The, yeah. the reply, yeah. Yeah, he'd oh. be like, uh, oh, I just bought a plantation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we already saw him, like, reply to basically race science. Yeah. Like, there was that one with, uh, like, the camera pointing at, like, I don't know. I don't remember the yeah. exact thing. But he was like, oh, interesting. It's like, god damn, dude. God. But this, yeah, this, is, this is, like, crazy versus just, like extremely racist and <laughs> yeah oh i know but, it's, it's like it's, but the it's new hampshire people important context uh the new hampshire libertarian party they tripled and quadrupled down on this they went all they, yeah. they yeah, were like, for like it's, three days straight they just it's not out. racist this is what she was saying no no no, no you guys don't understand i am not ra let me explain this again I'm not racist. <laughs> she said the racist thing when she said insulin <laughs> should be free. Oh boy! And then didn't they even like make a meme? They made like a meme riffing on it, they basically did, saying the they same did thing. a lot. They really yeah. went yeah. deep in the paint for this one, and then they got overshadowed by uh, 
uh, uh, Ron DeSantis's staffer posting that Nazi stuff. Right. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I wonder if this is the the content that the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire needs to finally get their first seat <laughs> in New Hampshire. Congress. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen one. in New Hampshire. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. New Hampshire's got the freaks <laughs> up there. All right. So, what do we think? Moment of truth. Uh, let's start with Stefan this time. What do you think? Gill like texture or insulin slavery? God. The. <laughs> The gill like texture one is obviously very crazy. I feel like I've seen a lot of posts kind of in that genre before. And I'm not saying I haven't seen a lot of posts that are extremely racist, especially <laughs> lately on Twitter. Um, yeah. But it's just like so blatant. Like, what are you thinking posting that? I, I think yeah. if we're just looking for the worst post, I, I think it has to be the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire. Cool. Uh, John. <sighs> Um, I don't, I didn't like this round. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this it wasn't sucked. a very funny. Didn't enjoy this round. Uh, yeah, it's cause you're right. Like Stefan and it might've even been Juniper or one of you that tweeted this, but it's like the chicken thing is kind of like a sign of how people's brains are like breaking. Like it is this yeah. like very yeah. weird evidence that like, Oh, there's just these people who they were already stupid and now they're like, we're just detached yeah like detached from reality totally yeah. totally we're so it's just and it's like it, it's obviously funny also like i like my worst tweets to have a little bit of like oh that's kind of funny but yeah. like on yes. but like on the level of like a worst tweet i mean when the one on the right popped up i was like are we even going to read this one out loud like, are we even <laughs> be saying this out loud into a microphone uh so yeah so i mean i think i have to i have to pick the the libertarian party one uh just based on that but yeah this was a truly a truly yeah you know i round. didn't want to do i didn't want to do the ron DeSantis son and rod one because it is that like that is news and that is like legitimately like a bad thing that happened um this one i i think because the new hampshire libertarian party has so little political power them saying bring back slavery is actually i <laughs> I'm, I'm giving it the pass uh i'm mixed race <laughs> I'm, I'm the only uh not white person on the call i'm giving it the pass <laughs> what do you mean you're giving it a pass you're saying they're allowed it's okay to say to, no it's okay to be on here it's okay to, i'm giving us the pass, okay. I'm okay. Giving us the pass to laugh thank you it. for clarifying that I th I, yeah i thought you were handing it to the new hampshire no, party bring back I, was like, slavery. Dude, I, I am actually on their side bring back slavery <laughs> um i don't know who hasn't voted yet I haven't, but it's I, it's clear it's got to be the Nina Turner one. Turner yeah. one. It's it, I wish it was funny. Like I, w I wish we could laugh at it, but it's just genuinely I so bad. I'm going but to it give also, the lone descent then for the chicken gill. Like I'm texture. actually I'm voting chicken too. Okay. Um, Damn, I think it's so insane and it's so funny and like. Whenever a person says that like snow isn't real or that there are giants <laughs> in the mountains, I think it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Just saying that slavery should be back is just like, I don't know. It just, it again represents so much. Like, bo it's both of these represent a type of like person yeah. that just feels like emboldened to share their like deteriorating mind these days. Yeah. All right. I don't so know. It's, insul it's just insulin slavery horrible. moves on. Um, I think we can go right into the next one. It's a couple of uh, it's a couple oh, of uh, yes. organizations, a couple of organizations <laughs> up against each other on this one. Oh hell yeah! Uh, <laughs> now I know Stephen, that Stefan definitely contributed to. Yeah, uh, yeah this he did. Yeah, <laughs> based on the one on the right. Yeah, <laughs> we'll read the uh, Stefan one first. <laughs> Stefan sent me this, and I I loved it instantly. Um, this is from. At this was tweeted Hop two weeks ago. To be clear, just to be yes. clear, this was tweeted two well, weeks ago. That's the thing. This is. I. I. We do need to remind. This is quarter two, of, um, 2023. This was tweeted on June 11th or July, July 11th. July 11th. Yeah. July 11th, 2023, <laughs> and it is from at the Hockey News, and it says <laughs> the NHL kept its distance from the NFT market. But that's about to change with the launch of two new series of digital collectibles backed by the league. And you can find that information on at Puck Junk. Um, <laughs> so the NHL. It's incredible. An international official sports body got into nfts in july of 2023 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what's so amazing it's like we the collapse happened a year ago dudes like what are you doing here <laughs> and speaking as an nhl fan and john is as well we're both big hockey fans um this is 
may be the most NHL thing to ever happen. <laughs> um, they, so I'm not a big NHL, NHL person. Why is that? They, Why is that like the most NHL They're just thing? always behind the times. Like I guarantee if, so the NHL awards next year, if I had to guess who's going to be playing there, because they always have a band playing there, or at the All-Star game, they have a band playing there. I would guess it's going to be like, the vines and the goo goo dolls, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this this year they had they had Dirks Bentley host Hell, the NHL oh my awards. God. Yeah, uh, Hell, like yes. not not like oh he played one of his country songs. It was like no no let's see what the country guy can do if he hosts this. That tells me that you two guys are in a pretty good position to eventually host the uh, NHL oh. awards. I mean, I would love that. <laughs> That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the other one is from the Texas Family Project, and um, they posted a couple of images from the uh, the Pride campaign. Not even the Pride stuff, but like the corporate Pride campaign from Cracker Barrel Corporate. <laughs> I uh, forgot about these this like one. internal so documents that are like Cracker Barrel Court. Uh, corporates like LGBT 5K or whatever. And the Texas Family Project says, we take no pleasure in reporting that at Cracker Barrel <laughs> has fallen. A once family-friendly <laughs> establishment has caved to the mob. <laughs> Cracker Barrel so has Cracker fallen. Barrel we have has to retreat fallen. to the, uh, the Cheesecake Factory. Hold the line <laughs> at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> 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 Until I love, uh, I love this one. supplies can come from the uh, the kids rock uh, kid rocks honky tonk uh, 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 cavalry can come in. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Just, yeah. So we got Cracker Barrel has fallen versus NHL NFTs. So I think I, I love the Cracker Barrel one because it represents a genre of tweet that we saw so much in Pride Month this year, where it was like people, it was like conservatives finding out that like pretty much most corporations are generally cool with the queers. Like, they don't typically hate the fags anymore. Right. So, uh, and, and it was like, the, my, one of my other favorite ones was the the Chick-fil-A one, um, where there was like, oh, Chick-fil-A has fallen. It's gay chicken now. And it's like, the, the, these people, I don't know, the things that they lose their mind about. We so had funny. woke, woke chicken was basically up against Cracker Barrel has fallen. In yeah. Terms <laughs> no of, longer which, the Lord's chicken was. The, no longer the Lord's chicken. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, was they were both really good, but that one's a video. Um, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're no longer the Lord's chicken. You're now the woke chicken. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> I, if you, if you so feel good. like, if you feel like woke chicken should have been on here, I no, will no, no, take no, no. a vote for Cracker Barrel has fallen as a sort of one to one. <laughs> yeah. You understand? No, it's the same thing. They all wanted to do Bud Light to every brand that they felt slighted them for like they're still hey, doing, if you're I mean, gay, still... you're legally allowed to work here, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, they tried to hit that like that zeitgeist ev like with everything. Yeah. Uh like there was there was an account that was like, Oh, this is the list of all the yeah, ones like that we're gonna Google, try to Bud Light Google and protest. Thing of like all the gay brands yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and it's like they, they, they only hit that once because it, they could shit on uh, Dylan Mulvaney. And it I, I don't know. They just hit like a, a nerve in like the weirdest, I don't know, freaks. Yeah. Um, I'm voting yeah, no, for, for uh, Cracker Barrel has fallen because the first time I, I read that tweet, <laughs> I, I felt like I, my ears were ringing and I read that. We take no pleasure in reporting that Cracker Barrel has fallen. I read that out loud to myself when I was smoking outside on, on my break. I just started fucking howling, laughing like, nope, <laughs> nope, that's it. That's that's you know. Yeah, I think I mean, I love the NHL one. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but I have to vote for Cracker Barrel as well, because just the phrase Cracker Barrel has fallen <laughs> is something I will say out loud to myself all the time. Yeah, just so. walking around your house, talking yeah. to your cat or whatever. Just exactly. Like, Cracker Barrel has fallen. Yeah. So Cracker Barrel uh, takes this one uh, for me. I, uh, I I like the NHL one, so I'll just give a dissenting vote for the NHL one just to because I'm Canadian and I the, feel like for I have to <laughs> for for national pride. Uh, yeah, and also a funny sort of like little aside to the NHL thing is that we. Stefan and I both have a mutual friend that works for the company that uh, like developed and runs NBA Top Shot, which was like the first sort of like sports NFT. And uh, as far as I know, the there was like the NHL was interested like right away 
And they were like, no, we're too busy. We're not going to do the NHL. <laughs> they so they could have like, grifted so much money so if they it, got in early on. Totally. So it's like this very funny, like that's just a sort of like very funny kind of like addendum. And I don't know how true that is or not. You know, that's kind of anecdotal. But It's 100% I be- true, I believe. Yeah, it I mean, well, yeah. And it's, so that's the funny part of the like, the NHL kept its distance from the NFT market. It's like, actually, no, I think the <laughs> NFT market kept its distance from the <laughs> NHL. <laughs> that's very funny. Funny. <laughs> All right, yeah. Caleb, what do you got? Oh, uh, Cracker Barrel for sure. Yeah, same. Got to go Cracker I'm, Barrel. I'm also voting. Yeah, I'm voting for Cracker yeah. Barrel. But uh, just one final aside on the, the NHL. Uh, in, in like five years, they're finally going to start using AI. Yes. <laughs> we're, they're going to be like, it's going to be like chat GPT-5. And they're like, we're finally embracing. No, it's going to be, it's still going to be 3.5. It's going to be the chat GPT that's currently fucking up and giving <laughs> all the time. <laughs> oh, they're not even going to use the most updated no. one. Um, <laughs> I actually almost quoted the tweet on the left here when John was talking about whether or not he knew it was true about the NFT thing. Like this was <laughs> the tweet that I was going to reference, but I didn't. This, I knew this tweet I had to sort of I had to sort of insist ended up on the bracket <laughs> because it's really important to the oeuvre of this show. And and it came so quickly after we recorded um the last bracket. And um this is from our good friend the Cybersmith at I am Cybersmith. <laughs> I underscore am underscore cybersmith. Uh one word Wait, Cybersmith. Do, John and Stephan, do you know about the cybersmith at all? Are you aware of who this uh, some, guy is? Somewhat. I've had I've had him explain to me a little bit, but I, I don't think John knows. No, I don't know any. I don't know any of this stuff. Um, <laughs> who who I, wants I'm to still, do the honors? I'm still, I still have one foot in the normie world, uh, so this is like. So I think one thing you can, John. What one thing you can see here is that this tweet has a hundred and three thousand views and five likes. <laughs> and I think that is uh, <laughs> that, is that good. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big thing with with cyber smith cyber smith he's also called the human pet guy they also call him the human milk guy he's got a few different um he's got ideas this john is i about. uh interviewed him early on in this podcast and i found out as soon as i was done talking to him i looked at his twitter and he had been retweeting diaper themed pornography the entire time we were talking <laughs> he's got the a lot of ideas time. yeah so the human pet thing his, it was his idea that was like well just because it's socially acceptable to like take your gay partner to the um restaurant what if i took a, a fully nude human uh with a collar on wearing a leash to a restaurant and i insisted <laughs> they were my pet or even my uh my 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 uh my like uh, personal assistant animal if I need that. And what if I just <laughs> insist and I have them and I feed them table scraps and they sit under and they're, they're well behaved, but they're fully nude and they are my human pet. How would you feel about that? And I think everybody's Good. reaction to that was what the fuck? What, what, what are you talking <laughs> Why about? Do we need to talk I about feel this? great. I want to be I want to walk into a Panera Bread and see human pets everywhere. <laughs> so I just have to interject really quickly with, with some 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 things because he's he's in he isn't in the discord. He's been in and out. Um he claims that the human pet thing was like a thought experiment and he, you know, he's, he's cagey on whether or not that's something pet play something's into, which is fine. I don't care the way, um, but he's kind of cagey about it. Kind of denies that that's really the point. Um, but I was talking to him about his D and D character and I got the backstory to his character that was like 5,000 words where he is a, <laughs> in the, his character is a seven foot tall <laughs> cop that comes from a noble bloodline that is betrayed oh, no. by his squire while he's putting out an anarchist rebellion. And um, when he, <laughs> as he's about to die, he turns into like some sort of blood witch, demon witch thing. And then um, he takes vengeance on the squire that betrayed him by chopping off all of his limbs and making him a human pet and then killing him by shoving his fist up the squire's asshole. Oh, oh so it is God. a sex thing. It's a thing. I yeah. was actually, I was willing to believe that it wasn't because he is a weird guy. <laughs> like he's weird and not a sex way too. He's just weird. He's um, a strange guy. He's, he actually is a really nice guy to talk to. And I'll say this to his Actually, credit. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually. He's yeah, a pleasant he and guy. I, he, he and I DM all the time, Same. but he will just like recommend TV shows and stuff. To yeah, me. we talk about like our favorite share songs the other day. He actually, when I did deactivated Twitter, he was the first person to do like a wellness check on him. He hit me up on Discord. He's like, are you all right, man? Like after the end, he has thing, he wow. has a lot of good qualities. He's also like a fascist psycho, but right. he has, <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah, no, no. Let's let's not like let's let's not yeah. yeah let's uh, not, uh, he has some good qualities. Yeah. He's not all bad. Okay, so here's the tweet. He, from he's him. a very complex figure. He's got he's got different sides. 
sides. He has layers. <laughs> he and I, he and I were talking. This is a reply to me, um, in which we were talking about an election or something, and I was like, "Look, you can keep talking, you can keep saying whatever, but like, this election will happen. Things will come to an end. We will have a result to this." Um, and he's coming up with all these counterfactuals, all these different things. Yeah, I don't remember the specifics, but he finally says to me. I said something like, that's not true. He said, it feels true. <laughs> you are stuck in a fundamentally outdated view of reality. You think you live in a Newtonian world of celestial clockwork of perfect rationality. You don't. Placebos can outperform medicines. Particles can become waves. Sometimes what becomes feels, what, sometimes what feels true becomes true. <laughs> Again, Damn. this tweet has more oh, bookmarks than likes. I, I don't know what kind of. <laughs> I don't know. He what's... was cooking here. <laughs> more quote tweets than likes and more bookmarks than likes. <laughs> um, I just love that first that it feels it true. Feels because that, that's true. like the operating. That's like the operating train of thought that so many people that he will specifically that, too. Live he by. does, but so many people like the chicken, like the chicken with the gills yeah. person, like. That's like their their operating mindset. It, it is a feels true. Yeah, it is a it is a a it is a worldview that people hold is is what he has written here, and uh, the it's going up against uh, Jason at Jason from the All In podcast. Um, Jason says the perfect setup for a movie. There is no way this is over. Over pictures of uh, from the finale from Succession. Did it? Was there a finale? I, I never watched. Yes, this is the yes, the finale. This is the yeah. finale. Okay, so this is from the finale of Succession. He says this is the perfect setup for a movie. There is no way this is over, and it it, it and it it. I guess if this is over, I'm funding a startup just to make AI episodes of Succession. Oh my god! <laughs> now that's a great tweet from an idiot. It becomes even better with the follow-up from the next day after a bunch of people are like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I've never seen Succession, uh, but I've seen shows like it. I've seen Sopranos and uh, Mad Men and, and, and Breaking Bad and stuff. And uh, like, they don't all need movies. They don't need, they all, they, they don't all need to like keep Su going. Succession had the, it ended perfectly. And media literacy is just like at an all-time low uh yeah and and jason is just a total moron but the reply yes. is really good here after getting clowned on for an entire day <laughs> yes uh yeah for an entire day he people are like you're a fucking idiot uh average podcaster brain saying all the normal things to him and he says for dumb people comma hashtag hashtag satire he did the hashtag <laughs> <laughs> but he also wrote the word hashtag oh <laughs> and then also i think another thing with this original tweet didn't he like actually write out yes. like i'm pretty sure i saw he wrote yes, out he or did. he did like he did a chat AI gpt shit. season of succession and it was and it was and it was so, so bad. bad and it was just like uh they try and get the company back and it's like you need a fucking computer to write that for you you dumbass <laughs> <laughs> and that, to me that's what makes the the his reply to the for dumb people hashtag hashtag yeah. satire because he like actually did what he said yeah. like He's he, like what this post was yeah. about. He actually did do the GPT he's, thing. He's like, so stupid. He's, I am. Uh, yeah. Oh. I, chat chat GPT may have written that reply to his original post. Yeah. I, I have said <laughs> on this show more than once that I, I think that he might actually be the stupidest human on Twitter. Uh, I just it's <laughs> remarkable. He needs to be studied. Yeah, he's. Yeah, no, I know whenever we've had Ed Zitron on, Ed is. Oh, Ed is fascinated with Jason. You guys should watch Jason uh, play poker when he when he plays on like the poker tour or whatever. There's clips of it, and it's it's really funny seeing him go up against professional poker players. Does he have like is a it, false wait, is this tell? Where this guy's from? It's well, it's it's him and I think David Sachs as well was was playing. Um, I I I'll see if I can find the video, Two but goals. just just look up. It's so funny because they just get destroyed. It's really good. Are these are, so? Were these like poker people? Is that how they came into their their wealth? No, these th these are people who they want to play with the professional poker players. So they're <laughs> they're rich marks basically. Um, it's, yeah, they're it's startup guys, but they they uh, are rich enough that they can buy into poker yes. games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, they're they're very Elon brain like they they have the same brain disease that Elon has. I feel their like. whole podcast is just like. 
a dumb tourist walking around Disney World with his mouth slightly open in a perfect circle, <laughs> holding money in his hands. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put I'm gonna plant my flag for the Cyber Smith. He needs the vote. He deserves it. He's earned it. I gotta give it to our boy. Yeah, I think I would vote Cybersmith as well because, again, kind of going back to the last matchup, so, the phrase, it feels true, and sometimes <laughs> what feels true becomes true is just something that is going to be rattling around my head for quite a while moving forward. Um, <laughs> he's talking about transcendental truths that he's gone into detail with me about a lot through various philosophers, Kant, and uh, theology, and things of that nature. Like, there's, this and is he's not read the improv. first paragraph of all of all those of it, yeah, The first pages. paragraph only of all of these things, <laughs> correct, yeah. So, I, yeah, I'll, I'm in for Cybersmith, hell yeah. All right, do we want to make it the clean sweep? Because he's already won. <laughs> well, I was going to vote for I was, was going to vote for Jason. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, fair so, enough. So fair no, enough. so no, so no, not a clean sweep. Only because I think if we're voting for like the worst tweets of this quarter of 2023, You're this right. quarter to me oh, is very like point. emblematic of the AI GPT kind of yeah. like. Then this is like one of the worst examples of it. Um, yeah. So so for me, I think that's kind of what's tipping me over to that sure. side. Um, even though I, the Cybersmith reply is uh, is also excellent. <laughs> They're both great, but yeah, I, I think I gotta. Can I switch? I go I'm gonna go to Jason. Jason. I'm gonna switch into Jason. I oh shit! So I, that means I'll Juniper, also, you've got a you've got you've got a tiebreaker. I and I was gonna vote for Jason. Shit! Wow. The I, wow. Yeah. Behind win. I, yeah, because okay, Jason. here's my reasoning. Because so so the the screenshot here, like I highly recommend if people haven't seen, I don't even know if it's still up, but if you haven't seen his his tweet here with his thread of what the AI, the Chat GPT wrote, because there there's been so many people, especially with the the strikes going on, like the writer strikes and the actor strikes, where people will be like, oh, who needs actual writers when we have like Chat GPT yeah, and all that sort of stuff. Context. And yeah, and so for me, like seeing what he produced for a fourth season of Succession. It's just like, I, I, dude, I don't know. These, <laughs> I think we might need writers. I think we need writers. <laughs> I highly recommend going through what he created because you're gonna, you're just gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Wow. Well, Jason yeah, sorry, moves Cybersmith. on. You, we'll see. Um, uh, Cybersmith is one of those guys we'll definitely see again too. Yeah. He has no no shortage of just ideas. And none of us He's are ever gonna guy. block him. So. <laughs> he is a wellspring and he's also just like everybody all of us and everyone else in the world's brain is dying his is as well so it's not getting better yeah. <laughs> if you want to find out who wins the worst uh tweet of the uh, quarter two 2023 you can find us on patreon.com slash western kabuki you can follow me at whack nicholson bird respecter at bird respecter juniper at j-u-n-l-p-e-r john and stefan what do you guys got to plug John, go uh, ahead. You're better at plugging than I am. Oh, sure. Well, we have a we have a podcast called Blocked Party, uh, where we invite a guest on every week to talk about a time that they got blocked on social media. Uh, we're 244 episodes in. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of great episodes to choose from. The faithful producer of this podcast, Alex Goldman, has been on BP multiple times. So those are some good episodes to start with. It's a very fun podcast. Uh, you can check it out at Block Party Pod. Uh, I also have a podcast about new metal, if that's like a thing that you listen to or did listen to called the pod cast uh you can check out and you can just follow me on twitter at cullen the comic and i have a twitch stream uh we stream four to five nights a week uh i stream with jesse farrar from your kickstarter sucks uh twitch.tv slash the go off kings and you can find me on twitter I can you know what you can find me on blue sky at stefan heck on blue sky <laughs> <laughs> Uh, real quick, before we get out of here, John, what do you think about that new Lil, Uz Lil Uzi Vert album? Uh, What's your take on that one? Um, well, since uh, you mentioned new well, metal, well, look, just uh, take the worst tweet we saw today, <laughs> get your feelings about that really stirred up, and then that's how I feel about the Lil Uzi Vert uh, album. That, uh, <laughs> That chop suey cover. So not a fan. Oh, that chop suey cover oh. makes me want to um, redact it. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I think the the baby metal song genuinely pretty decent. I I just I don't know. I'm I'm thirty. I'm thirty seven <laughs> years old. I don't know. I can't get there. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for listening to Western Kabuki. We will we'll see you at the thrilling conclusion of the Q two bracket.